This video contains all of the information that you need to know when getting started with Facebook ads for your e-commerce brand in 2024. I'm gonna be going over why you should use them, setting up your account, my go-to ad strategy, and avoiding bans and restrictions. And make sure you stay to the very end of this video, pull out your notepad and pen because you don't wanna miss out on any of this crucial information. First of all, what the heck are Facebook ads? Facebook ads are a paid form of advertising on Meta's platform. Businesses all over the world use Facebook to promote their products or services by delivering targeted content to their audience. These ads can appear various places on Meta, including the user's news feeds, Instagram reels, stories, and other locations within Meta's ecosystem. Now, why should you be using Facebook ads? Well, Facebook's staggering user base has over 3 billion users. This provides an unparalleled opportunity to expose your product or service to an extremely broad and diverse market. In other words, it's the largest social media, believe it or not, I know a lot of the young people these days don't seem to use Facebook, but the majority of people are still actively using this app every single day. Now, before you start running ads, there's a couple crucial things that you need to know. And the first one is setting up your business manager. Of course, your Shopify store must be built out, which by the way, if you're starting dropshipping and you haven't already, make sure you use my free AI store builder. It'll literally build you a site and load it with winning products in less than 10 minutes. So I'll have that linked in the description below along with my free course that walks you through everything you need to know. So make sure to take full advantage of that. But anyways, first thing you wanna do is head over to this page and and click create an account. In order to do this, you must be logged in with your personal account so Meta knows it's a real person running these ads. Enter your business name and email and then simply click submit. You'll then be asked to verify your email. You know how this works. Go to your inbox real quick and put that code in and then you'll be taken to the Meta business manager you see on screen. And next, you'll need to set up your business Facebook page. So if you hop back over to Facebook, you click on settings, you click on pages and then create a new Facebook account, you can easily set one up for your new business. Fill in this information and you're good to go. Now with the Facebook page set up, you'll next need to set up your ad account within your business suite or your business manager. To do this, head back to the settings and click on ad accounts and then create new account. I'll walk you through all the steps to set it up and once all this is set up, you're ready to run your first ads. So let's jump over to the ads manager so I can break down exactly what you will be seeing. Now don't get overwhelmed and scared away because yours will look a lot more empty than this. This is currently an ad account that I'm actually, as you can see, running a lot of different campaigns on because we're actively scaling up a new product but you could just disregard all these campaigns and what's going on here. Obviously, we're running a little bit more advanced strategies like bid caps for all of these bottom campaigns, but in the beginning, you don't need to pay attention to any of this fancy stuff and you simply need to hit this big button here that says create. Once you hit create, you wanna go down here and click on sales. Of course, this is because we're optimizing for conversions given that we're selling physical products and we wanna make as much money as possible. Go ahead and hit continue and just skip past this page as well. Now, I know a lot of people have their fancy process for naming and all all this stuff. But honestly, guys, in 2024, nothing really matters as much as your content. So your product selection, your marketing, and actually creating the ads themselves and making sure you always have fresh content coming in is hands down the most important thing. Regardless of what any guru will tell you about all their fancy ad strategies, it simply matters how good your brand is and you'll let Facebook do the rest of the heavy lifting. So for example, you can come up here and just name it campaign one or test campaign or honestly, whatever you want. And then if you scroll down, you can see it's asking you for a special ad category. The only time you'd use this if you were advertising specific products that get deemed as a special category like housing or employment. But if we keep scrolling down here, we have some more campaign details like the campaign objective. As you can see, that's currently set to sales, which we previously selected. So that's pretty much all you need to know about this page for now. Advantage campaign budgets can be useful, which basically means that it'll distribute your budget across currently delivering ad sets to get more results depending on your performance goal choices and bid strategies. Basically giving Facebook even more control, but in the beginning, I usually like to have this off. Next thing that you wanna do is go over to the ad set, which is underneath the campaign like so, and you can go ahead and name this ad set one. So this is where you're gonna be placing your first ad. Now in the beginning, I typically go with maximize the number of conversions. Again, we wanna optimize for simply getting as much sales as possible, and we have the conversion event set to purchase here. Later on, when you're getting into different kinds of bid strategies and things like that, which like I said, no need to pay attention to when starting out, you can start looking at different cost per result results based on your target CPA and your profitability levels. But for now, when starting out, everything, like I said, is super basic and you wanna keep it that way and that's actually gonna give you the best chances of success. A daily budget of $20 per ad set is a great place to start and you always wanna to try to start your ads at midnight the next day. That way it has a full day to distribute that budget. Now this next tab down here is where you're actually gonna place the ad itself. On the right-hand column under ad preview is where you're gonna see the ad popping up in all the different feeds across the meta ecosystem. Uh, and this is where you're 
also gonna be linking that Facebook page. You can name the ad whatever you want. So for example, ad one, and then down here is where you're gonna be uploading the ad creative. Now these could be videos, single images, but again, I'm not gonna be covering these types of specific things in this video. And I'll have all those linked down below in my free course resources. And I'll even pop up a video somewhere on screen if you guys are interested on seeing how to create ads as well. Call to action, you can leave as shop now. You can put your website URL or the landing page specifically of the product that you wanna send them to. And honestly, that's about it. As far as testing, I like to duplicate the ad set five times and run it inside a CBO campaign, which basically means that Facebook is allowed to distribute that budget freely across the five different ad sets. Now, each ad set, you can either leave entirely broad if it's a broad product, or you can add a different interest for each ad. So for example, if you were selling a home decor product, maybe one of the interests could be Ikea, one of them could be Walmart, one of them could be Target, and so on and so forth. You simply wanna choose the interests that relate to the target audience that you're looking for. And I know I'm kind of rushing through some of this, but honestly, when you guys are at this point, you'll see just how simple it is. And if you guys want a full in-depth walkthrough, again, that's inside of my free course, which is 100% free, so take advantage of it while you can. Wait, did I mention it's free? Now, one thing that you need to be hyper aware of with Facebook is dealing with bans and restrictions. I've faced so many times business managers being shut down, ad accounts being shut down, products getting removed, and just nightmares that have caused my sales to go from thousands of dollars a day to zero dollars overnight. Basically, Facebook will place a restriction or ban on your account if you fail to comply with their advertising policies. And it sucks when you wake up to a banned Facebook account. So let's make sure you avoid that right now. Start by ensuring that your Facebook account ID is verified and your two-factor authentication is turned on. This, of course, lets Facebook know that you are a legitimate person. You must also ensure that you refrain from selling products in certain niches that are risky. And these include healthcare, drugs, weaponry, or any kind of products that you eat or are consumable like supplements. Now, of course, Facebook doesn't like these industries because it poses a risk to them, but also other ad platforms as well. So generally, when starting out with dropshipping or e-commerce, I'd stay away from those type of industries. And lastly, when it comes to the ads themselves, make sure the language is appropriate and there's nothing questionable about them. And this can be down to the words, the imagery in the ad, and even the description. No sexualized content either. Keep your ad copy extremely simple and make sure that it isn't breaking any of the policies. And if you want to see the policies, they're linked all over the Facebook ads website. But if you do want an in-depth guide on how to get your accounts unbanned, how to lift restrictions, and really maximize preventing this, especially if you're scaling up and you're spending thousands of dollars a day, then let me know in the comments below because I can also make that for you, no problem. I also want to touch on agency accounts because maybe you've heard that term floating around, but there's an asset out there in the Facebook advertising world that's known as the agency account. These are something that pretty much every intermediate and advanced brand builder should seriously consider picking up. I say that because owning one will give you a variety of perks that a standard ad account simply will not give you. With an agency account, it's a lot harder to get banned and restricted, and it'll also grant you cheaper CPMs in many instances. In case you didn't know, CPM stands for cost per mil or cost per 1,000 impressions and dictates how much money you're spending to get your ad in front of every 1,000 people. And this varies based on so many different variables, the product, the marketing, the video ad, the industry, but a solid benchmark, let's say, is $10. Assuming you had 1% of every single viewer of your ad actually come through and buy your product, your CPM was $10 and you spent $100 on your campaign, that would result in 100 sales. Now, obviously, those numbers aren't really all that relevant, but I just wanted to simplify things so you guys understand how the CPM is related to your conversion. Now, the last perk to having an agency account is the adjusted spending limits. Oftentimes, when you set up a brand new Facebook account, they'll start you off with a ridiculously low daily spend limit, like 50 or 70 bucks, and then incrementally raise that over time. But with an agency account, you can avoid all this together and spend thousands of dollars even from day one. And if you are interested in purchasing an agency account, I have hookups from my mentor actually that I can connect you guys to. So join my free discord below, message the support team and we'll help you out. And the next thing that I wanna to talk to you about is scaling your Facebook ads up properly. Once you have a winning creative or break even or profitable, the best thing that I've been doing right now is surf scaling, which basically means that if your campaign has a profitable ROAS or return on ad spend, you simply wanna increase the budget by 50 to 100% every hour until midnight and then reset it back to its original budget for the day. While all of this is going on, you still wanna be spending time optimizing your funnel and adding pre and post checkout, upsells, cross sells, bundles, and all the things that will increase your average order value. I highly suggest using an app like Reconvert for this. Now, by this point as well, you should be collecting customer data like emails and phone numbers. So install SMS Bump and Klaviyo to start retargeting all of those people. You'll also wanna be considering hiring customer service representatives at this point. So the first thing that you wanna do is head over to a website like Upwork and Fiverr and start looking for virtual assistants or people who can help with 
all the emails coming through. And another thing that you do not want to forget about is making sure your fulfillment is on point. Otherwise, you're going to result in so many chargebacks, refunds, that's going to have your ad account shut down and so on and so forth. So I've been using AutoDS. They do an amazing job of delivering the product end to end, no hassle, no headache. They'll cover all the fulfillment for you automatically. Everything is so easy in their dashboard. They also provide winning product suggestions, customer support, and everything that you need to scale and not have to worry about all the issues and headache that comes with finding a supplier. Now, of course, once you have at least a few hundred orders, then you can start getting into targeting other types of audiences on Facebook. So this includes retargeting people who have already done specific actions on your website, as well as building lookalike audiences, which basically means that those people who have taken actions on your website, you're expanding it out to find more people who are very similar to them, thus having an increased chance in them actually coming to your store and buying your product. And I know all this sounds complex and I'm not going to get into it too much right now. But again, guys, really running ads is the simple part and you should be focusing on your product, your marketing and building your brand as a whole. All this stuff is detailed at length in my free course as well. So when you're ready, you can take advantage of that. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for everything that you need to know when getting started with Facebook ads in 2024. And I know it can seem overwhelming and complex, but I'm here to tell you, take it one step at a time. It's simple, it's easy, breathe. And I'm here to help out as well with all of my free resources. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hope you found some value in this video. Really appreciate a subscribe and a thumbs up. Also share it to a friend who wants to get started. And yeah, I'll see you in a few days. Peace.